Welcome, fellow pilgrims, to our We Are Saintly YouTube channel as we embark on this sacred journey about St. Junipero Serra today. I'm Priscilla, and I invite you to join me on an extraordinary pilgrimage where we explore the rich traditions and spiritual treasures of the Catholic faith. In this sacred space, we delve into the depths of devotion, faith, and the power of prayer with a special focus on learning all about St. Junipero Serra. This channel is all about teaching you about the holy saints so that you can deepen your faith. Today, we'll explore the exciting graces contained within the incredible saint, St. Junipero Serra, and apply these lessons to our everyday lives. So, whether you're a seasoned devotee or just beginning your journey of faith, this channel is for you. Let's unite as a community of prayerful souls embarking on this divine pilgrimage of the heart. Join me on this journey today about St. Junipero Serra, where prayer becomes a transformative force and our souls find sanctuary. Take a moment now to subscribe to our channel because we have more awesome videos coming up and hit the notification bell to be a part of our sacred journey. Let's get started. St. Junipero Serra is undeniably a beacon of unwavering faith, compassion, and devotion that continues to inspire hearts around the world. In the verdant lands of California, St. Junipero Serra left an indelible mark, establishing missions and touching the lives of countless souls. His unwavering dedication to the service of God and his fellow human beings stands as a testament to the immense power of one person's unwavering conviction. Join me on this captivating journey as we delve into the life of St. Junipero Serra, a man whose story stirs the depths of our souls. Through the lens of his extraordinary life, we will uncover tales of courage, perseverance, and love, discovering the transformative power that faith can bestow upon both individuals and communities. Prepare to be enthralled as we traverse the corridors of history, shedding light on the remarkable achievements and profound impact of this beloved saint. From his humble beginnings in Spain to the distant shores of California, we will retrace his steps, learning about the trials he faced, the miracles he performed, and the profound compassion he extended to all. As we embark Embark on this captivating exploration of St. Junipero Serra's life, be prepared to be moved, inspired, and awakened to the boundless possibilities that lie within each of us. Together, let us celebrate the unwavering spirit of this remarkable saint and allow his legacy to ignite the flame of hope and love within our hearts. So, join me on this extraordinary odyssey as we unravel the enigmatic tapestry of St. Junipero Serra's life. Together, let us honor his memory, be touched by his story, and find solace and inspiration in the remarkable journey of a man whose name has become synonymous with devotion and grace. Welcome to this enchanting voyage into the world of St. Junipero Serra. St. Junipero Serra. What was St. Junipero Serra known for? St. Junipero Serra, known for his unwavering commitment to spreading the gospel, St. Junipero Serra is one of the most beloved and revered figures in Catholic history. But what was St. Junipero Serra known for? Well, for starters, he was a Franciscan friar who dedicated his life to evangelizing the Native American peoples of California. He is often referred to as the Apostle of California. California because of his tireless efforts to bring the good news to the indigenous populations of the region. Born in Spain in 1713, St. Junipero Serra joined the Franciscan order at a young age. He quickly gained a reputation for his piety and devotion, and it wasn't long before he was sent to Mexico to continue his missionary work. So why did Father Serra go to Mexico? Well, at the time, Mexico was a hub of Catholic missionary activity. There were countless indigenous populations throughout the region who had yet to hear the gospel, and it was up to dedicated priests and friars like St. Junipero Serra to spread the word. And spread the word he did. St. St. Junipero Serra spent over a decade in Mexico tirelessly working to bring the good news to the people. He learned the language and culture of the indigenous populations he served, and he quickly became known for his kindness and compassion. But it wasn't until he arrived in California in the late 1,700 seconds that St. St. Junipero Serra truly made his mark. He founded a series of missions throughout the region, each one dedicated to spreading the gospel and providing education and support to the local populations. Through his tireless work, St. St. Junipero Serra was able to bring countless souls to Christ. He faced many challenges and hardships along the way, but he never wavered in his commitment to his mission. So today, as we remember the life and legacy of St. St. Junipero Serra, let us be inspired inspired by his example. Let us remember his dedication to spreading the gospel, his kindness and compassion towards others, and his unwavering commitment to serving God. Saint Saint Junipero Serra, pray for us. What miracle did Junipero Serra do? Saint Junipero Serra is a beloved figure in Catholic history known for his tireless work in spreading the gospel and caring for the indigenous peoples of California. But what is less well known is his efforts to protect the Indians from those who would seek to harm them and the miraculous events that occurred during his lifetime. Throughout his work in California, St. Junipero Serra faced opposition from various groups who sought to exploit and harm the indigenous populations he served. 
He was deeply committed to protecting the Indians and ensuring their safety and well-being. One example of this occurred during the mission period, when St. Junipero Serra spoke out against the mistreatment of the Indians by Spanish soldiers. He worked tirelessly to protect the Indians from those who would exploit or harm them, and his efforts helped to improve the lives of countless individuals. Another instance of St. Junipero Serra's commitment to protecting the Indians occurred during an epidemic that swept through the region. St. Junipero Serra tirelessly cared for the sick and dying, working to ease their suffering and provide them with comfort during their final moments. In addition to his work in protecting the Indians, St. Junipero Serra was also known for the miraculous events that occurred during his lifetime. One such event occurred when he was serving at the Mission San Carlos Borromeo. According to reports, a group of pirates had come to the mission and were preparing to loot and plunder the church. St. Junipero Serra reportedly stood in front of the altar and prayed for God's intervention. Suddenly, a group of soldiers appeared on the scene, chasing the pirates away and saving the mission from destruction. This event has been interpreted by many as a miracle, a testament to the power of faith and prayer. It is just one of many instances in which St. Junipero Serra demonstrated his unwavering commitment to God and his people. St. Junipero Serra's commitment to protecting the Indians and his dedication to the work of God make him a truly remarkable figure in Catholic history. His legacy continues to inspire us to this day, reminding us of the importance of compassion, kindness, and faith in our lives. So let us all strive to follow in his footsteps, working to protect and care for those in need and trusting in the power of prayer and faith. What did Father Junipero Serra found along the coast of California? Father Saint Junipero Serra is a name that evokes admiration and controversy in equal measure. While he is celebrated for his role in founding missions along the coast of California, he is also criticized for his treatment of the indigenous peoples he encountered. So, what exactly did Father Saint Junipero Serra found along the coast of California, and why is he such a controversial figure? In the late 18th century, Father Saint Junipero Serra founded a series of missions along the coast of California from San Diego to San Francisco. These missions were established with the aim of converting the indigenous populations to Catholicism and integrating them into Spanish colonial society. Each mission was designed to be a self-sufficient community with its own church, housing, and agricultural facilities. The indigenous populations were required to live and work at the missions, where they were taught the ways of the Catholic faith and trained in various trades and skills. Saint Junipero Serra Why was Father Junipero Serra such a controversial? While the missions were initially successful in their goals of converting the indigenous peoples to Catholicism, they were also the source of significant controversy. Many criticize Father Saint Junipero Serra for his treatment of the indigenous populations, including his use of force and coercion in the process of conversion. Critics also point to the harsh conditions of the missions, including the forced labor and poor living conditions endured by the indigenous peoples. Disease and overcrowding were also major issues at the missions, leading to a significant decline in the indigenous population. Despite these criticisms, Father Saint Junipero Serra remains a revered figure in California history, celebrated for his contributions to the state's cultural heritage and his role in spreading the Catholic faith. His legacy continues to inspire us to this day, reminding us of the complex and often difficult history of California and the United States as a whole. Father Saint Junipero Serra's founding of missions along the coast of California was a significant event in the state's history, shaping its cultural heritage and influencing the lives of countless individuals. While he remains a controversial figure, his legacy continues to inspire us to this day, encouraging us to reflect on the complex and often difficult history of our nation. Why did they tear down the statue of Junipero Serra? The statue of Father Saint Junipero Serra, located in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, was torn down in June 2020, amid widespread protests against racial injustice and police brutality. The statue's removal sparked a heated debate about Saint Junipero Serra's legacy and the role he played in the treatment of indigenous people in California. Saint Junipero Serra What was the controversy over the canonization of Serra? For many, the statue of Father Saint Junipero Serra represented a painful reminder of the violence and oppression suffered by indigenous peoples under the Spanish colonial system. Critics argued that Saint Junipero Serra's role in the mission system, which sought to convert indigenous peoples to Christianity and assimilate them into Spanish colonial society, was responsible for the destruction of indigenous cultures and the loss of countless lives. Supporters of Saint Junipero Serra, however, viewed him as a symbol of faith and devotion, and argued that his work in establishing the missions was motivated by a desire to spread the Catholic faith and improve the lives of indigenous peoples. The controversy over the canonization of Father Saint Junipero Serra, who was 
declared a saint by Pope Francis in 2015, also highlighted the conflicting views on his legacy. While some praised his role in spreading Catholicism in the Americas, others criticized him for his treatment of indigenous peoples and his complicity in the colonial system. Critics of the canonization argued that it represented a whitewashing of St. Junipero Serra's role in the mission system and failed to acknowledge the violence and oppression suffered by indigenous peoples under colonial rule. Supporters of the canonization, on the other hand, viewed it as a recognition of St. Junipero Serra's devotion and service to the Catholic Church, and a celebration of his contributions to the cultural heritage of California and the Americas. In the end, the controversy surrounding Father St. Junipero Serra's legacy highlights the complex and often difficult history of California and the United States as a whole. It is a reminder that our past is not always straightforward or easy to reconcile and that we must continue to grapple with the legacy of colonialism and oppression in our society. What was Father Junipero Serra's famous quote? Father St. Junipero Serra left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and challenge people today. One of his most famous quotes, which embodies his deep faith and commitment to service, is, Always forward, never back. Prayer is such an important aspect of growing in your faith. Also, meditating on the gospel for at least a few minutes a day can dramatically deepen your faith. Are you familiar with the gospel? I believe that you were brought to this video today for a reason. Let's take a moment to think about the gospel and what the religion of Christianity is all about. The Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that we all need a savior because of this. Romans 3.23 Because of this, God sent his one and only son to us to be the atonement for our sins. As it says in John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You see, in Malachi 3 to 6, God says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. He has always required a blood sacrifice for the atonement of sins. He says this in Leviticus 17 11, For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. He also repeats this in the New Testament when he says in Hebrews 9 22, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. This is why Jesus, God in the flesh, had to come into the world and live under the law, which are the the Ten Commandments to redeem those who were under the law. Have you obeyed the entire law of the Lord? Have you ever stolen anything, even if it was small? Have you ever lied? Have you ever not kept Sunday as a day of rest and worship of the Lord? Have you ever looked with lust at another person that you were not married to or done physical things with a person you were not married to? Have you ever desired something that your friend or neighbor had that didn't belong to you? To be honest, it's easy to break these laws because our nature is inclined to sin. The Bible says that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. However, it says in 1 John 1 to 8 and 9, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a merciful and loving God we serve. Because God loves us so much, in Isaiah 53, 10, it says, yet it was the will of the Lord to crush Jesus when his soul makes an offering for guilt. Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death, and because he rose from the dead, he promises to raise us from the dead after we die too. This is the glorious gospel. The next step after after a person has received the gospel is to go to RCIA at your local Catholic church. You can search for the nearest church on Google and call them to see when the next classes start. If they don't start for some months, you can still meet with the director and get some books to read to tie you over before it starts. I will be praying for you about all of this. This is the road to eternal life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos about inspiring saints. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. Make sure to check out the links below in the description so you can grab your We Are Saintly Catholic t-shirt and be a part of our We Are Saintly Catholic community by signing up for our email list and joining us on Patreon. I give you free saint printables each month, a free We Are Saintly shirt each year, shoutouts, and more in Patreon as a special thank you for being a part of this amazing Catholic community. Are you considering taking a Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Junipero Serra after learning about St. Junipero Serra? I've traveled to lots of places and I'm well versed in the things you you may need along the way, so I've compiled a list of links in the description below where you can find cheap flights, car rentals, destination packages, and more. Save this video so you have those links handy and visit our blog to learn about more holy saints that will ignite your faith. I sincerely hope that learning about Saint Junipero Serra has brought you a sense of comfort and tranquility. If you found this video to be beneficial, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel. Always remember to keep the faith and believe in the power of prayer. May God God bless you and provide you with guidance on your journey. Until we meet again, take care of yourself, keep going to church, reading your Bible, praying your rosary, and sharing the gospel. I'm praying for you in all of this.